Hey, we start our day. Hey, we got the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Hey, but don't stop there. Nope, go anyway. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, hey, Brooke Scholars, where's the party at? I hear from these books. Hey, Brooke Scholars, what time is it? Time to motivate you. Good morning, Brooke Scholars, and welcome to day six of Word Study. You guys have been doing an amazing job. Um, following along, I've been able to conference with so many of you guys, and I've heard so much great things from your teachers. Um, so I know you guys are doing an amazing job. If you want to flip to day six word study, you can do that now. If you do not have a pen, I'm sorry, if you do not have a packet, just grab a pencil and a paper and you can get started with us right away. All right, so let's get started right away. Today we're going to go over our consonants. And we have a bunch of them today, so I'm excited. Make sure you are saying, uh, chanting the wall cards along with us so that you keep those sounds in your brain. Let's do this. Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Mm, mm, mm. M says, mm. MB says, mm. Like in thumb, the end of thumb has an MB. MN says, mm. Power, power. P, p, p. p says, p. and you all have been using your power to keep your brains going. Question, question. Qu, qu, qu. Q, U says, qu. jazz, jazz, j, j, j. G says, j. I'm sorry, J says, j. G E says J. G I says J. G Y says J. D G E says J. G U says J. Baseball, baseball. B, B, B. B says B. College, college. K, K, K. C says K. K says K, C K says K, Q U E says K. I can't wait for you guys to get older so that I can see pictures of you guys going to college. Focus, focus. F says, P H says, G H says. Respect, respect. R, 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 r. R says r, r. W R says r, not r, r. Galaxy, galaxy. G, g, g. G says g. G H says g. G U E says g. Extinct, extinct. X, x, x. Final X says X. K S says X. E X says X. X says X. Kindergarten, kindergarten. K, k, k. K says K. C says K. Final C K says K. C H says K, Q U E says K. Zoo, zoo, z z z z. Z says z, S says z, X says z. Sometimes. Yoga, yoga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y says yeah. And watching a YouTube on yoga will definitely help clear your minds and just stretch your bodies. Um, so if you can, totally ask your parents to put on some yoga. Violin, violin. 
D says mm. Senator, Senator. S, S, S says C E says C I says C Y says like and saucy. Actually, no, not like and saucy. Never mind. C Y says S C says P S says Legend, legend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. L says ooh. L E says ooh. E L says ooh. Washington, Washington. Wah, wah, wah. W says wah. W H says wah. Healthy, healthy. H says WH says, keep eating your veggies and your fruits during this time. It'll keep you nice and energized and healthy. And it'll keep your brain sharp. Determined, determined. D, D, D. D says D. E, D says D. Teamwork, teamwork. T, T, T. T says T. E D says T. B T says T. Nation, nation. Mm, mm, mm. N says M. Mm. K N says M. Mm. G N says M. Mm. Remember, it's a really great um thing to practice your your wall cards and your sounds because when you get to a tricky word and you run into one of these chunks or one of these um, letters, it'll help you figure out how you can um, blend that tricky, tricky word. All right, next up we have our heart words for the week. Remember, after we say it twice, actually, I'm going to say it. We're going to say it together. We're going to spell it and then we're going to say it again. Once we go through all 10 heart words, I want you to stop the video or pause the video and work on that nice neat handwriting. I've already been noticing um, during your conferences that a bunch of you, your handwriting is just becoming so much stronger. So keep up the great work. All right, first things first, behind, B, E, H, I, N, D, behind, there, T, H, E, R, E, there. When. W H E N. When. Where. W H E R E. Where. Why. W H Y. Why. <laughs> Mr. M R period. Mr. Mrs. M R S Mrs. M R S period, I should say. Don't forget that period. Miss M S period. As. A S as how H O W how Alrighty friends, let's see if you know them all in a snap. Ready? Oh Awesome friends, in a snap, if you said behind, there, when, where, why, Mr., Mrs., Miss, as, how, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. You guys are rocking it. All right, so right now I want you to pause your video and get started on those, um, on writing your heart words. Remember, you should know these in a snap. You should know how to read and write them. So you can pause the video now, and when we get back, 
So it'll be time for grammar. Alrighty, friends, hopefully you pause the video. It is now time for grammar. Today, our main focus are pronouns. We know that there are personal pronouns and possessive pronouns. Pronouns are words that take place of a noun. They're usually in the form of he, her, she, is, not is, um, it, they, their. It's, some, it's a word that replaces the noun in the sentence. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read all three. And then you're going to read one sentence at a time and circle each pronoun. I'm sorry, you're gonna underline each pronoun in each sentence. Got it? Alrighty, friends. The first sentence is, is that her book baggie? The second sentence, we are going to the market after school. The next sentence, Joshua and his friends love reading. So remember today, our focus is just pronoun. So you're going to see a ton of verbs and nouns in this sentence, but let's just focus on pronouns for now or for this lesson. Got it? Alrighty, friends. Go. Again, I am going sentence by sentence. And then in each sentence, I'm going word by word. And I'm asking myself, is this a pronoun? Is this taking place of a noun? Remember, we're underlining pronouns. I'm rereading it now, going back to every sentence and every word, asking myself, what is the pronoun in the sentence? Alrighty, friends, I am ready. You guys can take, you guys can pause the video if you'd like, if you're not done yet, and then press play and I'll be right back. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my friends who are ready. So, in the first sentence, is that her book baggie? If you underlined her, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. This her is taking place of a noun. We don't know who the her is. It could be Valerie, it could be um, Juliana, we don't know who the her is, so that her, the word her, is taking place of the pronoun. I'm sorry, it's taking place of the noun. So her is the pronoun, and it's taking place of, a, of the noun that we don't know what it is just yet. The next sentence, we are going to the market after school. We is the pronoun. Again, it is taking place of a noun. We could be me, Alexander, and um, Miss McGuad. And the way we would make that into a pronoun is if we use the word we. So again, we is taking place of the potential nouns in the sentence. Are going to the market after school. None of these are pronouns. They're pretty straightforward. So I would think, oh, those are not pronouns. They're not taking place of a noun. Not at all. Market, school, those are all nouns. So not, not pronouns. The next one, Joshua and his friends love reading. If you underline his as a pronoun because it's taking place of the noun in the sentence, give your brain a kiss. Again, if I wanted to replace 
his with a pronoun, it would be Joshua and Joshua's friends love reading. But we could replace the noun in the sentence with a pronoun, which is his. Alrighty, friends. Grammar could be really tricky because of the amount of rules that there that there are. And um, yeah. So if you are having trouble with this, feel free to put a star next to it and contact me or your teacher um, for more help on um, grammar. Alrighty, friends. Next up, we have dictation. I'm going to say this sentence twice. We're gonna repeat it all together a third time. And then when I say go, you are going to write your sentence. When writing your sentence, I want you to always be thinking about your proper writing habits. Hmm, what should every sentence start with? What should every sentence end with? If this is a tricky word, how can I sound out each sound in the word to make it sound right and look right? Because remember, People are reading your writing. So in order for them to understand your writing, it has to look right and sound right. Also thinking, hmm, if there's a proper name, a proper noun in the sentence, what should it be? Capitalized. All right, so let's get going. The sentence for today, and let's see, is <laughs> Cameron and Darbin's waited in line for lunch. Again, Cameron and Darbin's waited in line for lunch. All together, Cameron and Darbin's waited in line for lunch. Eight. Go. Cameron's names are tough, so the first thing I'm gonna do is tap out every sound in his in his um in his name. Darbins. That's two syllables, so there should be two vowels in each of those syllables. And remember, the sentence is Cameron and Darbin's waited in line for lunch. Line. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and double check my sentence. Cameron and Darwin's lunch. All right, if you're not done writing your sentence, that is okay, you can pause it right now. And then when you're done, you can unpause me and we can go over it together. So for friends who are done, if you have carb, carb, Cameron and Darbins waited in line for lunch. Give your brain a kiss. Mwah. If you capitalize the C in Cameron because of, that's the fur, that's the um, beginning of a sentence, great job. If you put an exclamation point or a period at the end of your sentence, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. These are both um, statements. I could you could have heard me say it in an exciting voice, or it could have just been a statement. So an exclamation point or a period is just fine. Now Cameron's name is pretty tough. All names I feel like are tough because you don't you know you don't see them often. So I stretched out every sound. Am 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 
Cameron. Cameron. And it's a heart word. So if you spell the A N D, give your brain a guess. Mwah. Darbins. I could stretch out every sound in Darbin's name. D R. Remember, R controlled vowels. If you just put an R, it says dur, not dar. D R B. D R B. E. D R B. N. Darbins. Darbins. Weighted. W. A, I know the chunk that says an A, long A sound is A-I, so I chose that chunk. If you chose another chunk that says the long A sound, that's great. What A, T, what A, T, weighted. I know E-D says D, and it usually comes at the end of a word. N is a heart word. Line, hmm, ooh, I, ooh, long I. Well, I know that magic E is going to make I say its name. So I put ooh, I, mm, and then magic E is making the I say its name. Four, heart word, F-O-R, four. Lunch, ooh, uh, lun, lunch, lunch. Remember, C-H says ch. So if you spell lunch this way, great job. You spelled everything phonetically correct. Now. The D in Darbins is capitalized. Why? If you said it's because it is a name, that it, therefore it's a proper noun and proper nouns are capitalized, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Awesome, awesome job today. I, I'm pretty sure you guys rocked this part. Um, you know, I have a little message for here, for you guys here. Smiley face, miss you guys all the time. Okay, keep up the great work. Last but not least, we have syllables. You have three words. The words are excuse me. Feature. Chewy. And meter. Right now, what I want you to do is tell me how many syllables do you hear in each word? After you tell me the amount of syllables in each word, or after you write down the amount of syllables in each word, I want you to circle the vowel or the vowel chunk that's saying that syllable. So it's, we know our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y. Okay, so feature, chewy, neater. Tell me the amount of syllables and the vowels or vowel chunks that you should be circling. Go. Alrighty, friends, if you are not done, pause the video, finish yours, and then watch the rest of it. So for friends who are done, let's do this. If you said that the word feature has two syllables, uh, snap it out, feature, tap it out, feature. Give your brain a guess. Mwah. So if you have two syllables, that means you're circling two vowels or two vowel chunks. Well, in feature, E-A is saying E. So that's the vowel chunk that's in that first chunk, the E. Chur would be the U. If you circled the E, 
that technically would mean that you have three syllables, but there are not three syllables in this word. This E is actually silent. It's not saying feature or feature Eh. It's saying feature. Er. The 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 vowel here would be the U. Next one. Chewy. Snap it out. Chewy. Tap it out. Chewy. If you said that there are two syllables in this word, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. The first one is ch ooh, ooh, ooh. E. The second one is a uh, final Y. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, hmm, but this doesn't say ch e or ch e. Well, that's the tricky thing about syllables. Sometimes it won't say that it, a vowel sound, but it is a vowel that's making that chunk, that chunk of a syllable. That's what makes it a syllable, are the vowels or the vowel chunks. And sometimes you can use the sound, but sometimes it's not gonna make like one of those obvious vowel sounds, okay friends? So make sure you're looking for the, the vowel or the vowel chunks in each syllable. Last but not least, neater. Again, if you circle E-A, E, because E-A says E, give your brain a kiss, Mwah. And then the E and um, ter. Valerie brought up a good point. She said, but it doesn't say E or E. Eh. And I was like, you're absolutely right. But sometimes a syllable isn't actually gonna make a vowel sound. So it's like two ways you can think about it. A syllable either has a vowel or a vowel chunk, or you can hear the vowel sounds. Um, either way, if it says two syllables, you're going to be circling either two vowels or two vowel chunks or one vowel chunk and one vowel. It all depends what the word is made up of. Got it? Got it. If you have any questions on this, again, I know this can be tricky and a little hard to explain actually, um, because you know, English language is different. Um... Feel free to contact me or your teachers. We um, are here to help and we miss you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed today's session and I will be seeing you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and get lots of lots, lots of rest. See you guys later.